All right, microphone check, check, check. Hey, all right, so uh, we're kind of scrambling to get this project wrapped up, but let's talk about 3D printer stuff. So uh, the project manager will live under here, and it's going to pop up under here right now. I have to try project view platform, and that'll get me a little toolbar that pops up here. Um, essentially what will happen here is we'll click connect, it'll go out on the network and it'll search for the project and uh, when it finds it, it'll automatically connect to it. And so there it's connected, it's telling us that we're idle and this is the resin that's installed and all that good stuff. Um, along here we have some different buttons right now. Some of these buttons work, some of them don't. Um, this UI is going through some changes and stuff's getting wired and unwired and revisions here and there. So um, we hope to have that buttoned up, but I think dude's going out of town and uh, it might be putting a little delay on things. Um, so we have new build. Uh, we've got print to build file. We've got print from build file. We've got the ability to save an entire build platform, import a build platform, and open a build platform. Uh, we can add pieces, so let me show you some of that stuff. Um, you've got your turn the curing oven on, off, start, stop, all that good stuff. So let's um, let's put some stuff on a build. So here's our platform. I've got a little job bag with some STLs in here. So let's go uh, let's let's go in plastic mode here, so we don't have to look at wires. Uh, and we'll just click add to build and so that'll go ahead and put it on the build platform now I think in this particular build right now um, uh, auto range was not hooked up and running but it is in the it is in the newest build so it'll actually in the newer build which runs off of a new SDK um, it puts it where it needs to be but at the time of um, getting this thing to work we were I was struggling to get that version stable to make you guys a video so I fell back to the version that we had here in JCK so that's what we're looking at here um, so anyway, these things will these things will go on there, allow you to put your parts on there, all that good stuff, and then um, you can build to a file, you can print directly to the machine. Um, so um, you can you can load a build file. So I'll print to a build file. So we'll say go. Here's a test build. I'll just overwrite that. We'll hit replace, and basically it'll do all the slicing and everything for us. And uh, in a way it'll go. So it'll take it a second here to spool up and and get going it's pretty machine intensive when it does its business so there it goes so it's generating the build file and it goes through a bunch of different things there there's some UI stuff to work out here obviously we got some flashing business or something going on there Alright, so there we go. So there it finished up and it wrote its little build file. Uh, and then we could do print to file, start build. I don't think start build is chained up. Yeah, button's not doing anything. But um, this is working, so it tells you that it's starting the curing process. And you probably can't hear it, but I can hear the little motor turning around in that unit. Uh, we got some options to be able to set shrink, um, set materials, all that good stuff from here. Um, so it's pretty cool. Uh, and that's pretty much uh, the gist of it. Uh, then you turn it off and on, and you pretty much never leave Matrix. So that is it. We can hit Finish, and then that'll dump... Uh, well, normally it turns it off, but in this case it spits everything out. So still some cleanup to do.